Hey, what's happening everybody? You got the car man on the job today. Um, I just finished up a video and I was doing the intake on one of these 4.0 OHV uh, Explorers. But there's a pretty common problem and because I did tack this into it, I wanted to really do a video that specifically went on it. Which is your EGR valve, the EGR tube, um, how it's held in there, what does it take to get it off, so forth and so on. Because a lot of people have problems with this, and this is a pretty common failure with a Ford. Um, so let's discuss it. Now this right here is just out of a junkyard, which is a great example. It's out of the car. You can actually see it. I was in a hurry. I just needed the tube off of it. I just cut it and took it off its mount, and, and away we went. And um, I'm gonna, of course, all I need is this tube, so I'll take that off later. But anyway, as the as the vehicle, as this is sitting in the vehicle. This EGR sits there, and this is how it's mounted. It's mounted one point right here. That is a 1 and 1 16th bolt, but I don't recommend using a wrench to take that off unless you had a shorty with a breaker bar. Um, they actually sell a little set at Harbor Freight. Mac Tools has got one. A few other people have got the 1 and 1 16th, but if you had the 1 and 1 16th and it was a short one, you'd have enough room to get in there and get that out. But let's pretend that you don't and you are attempting to um, get to it and you're getting kind of frustrated because if you notice from the bottom, that thing is sitting right in line with the top of that little mushroom cap. So not only do you not have a straight line to it, it's kind of sideways. Now you may be able to get it right there um, with a pipe wrench, which is exactly what I recommend. That's what we use, period, in the story. Nothing to talk about. Um, but if you can't get it straight on and you need a straight on shot, like the one that was in this car needed, what you can do, if you notice, on the bottom, see right here at this end of this triangle? That's just a mount, and that's where that mushroom cap is mounted from the top. Now, what I would recommend doing is taking a a flathead screwdriver popping a hole in the top of this and then use it to cut it all the way around and then just take that cap off or you could use a Dremel tool it doesn't matter inside of there when you pull it out you'll have the little rubber baffle you can take that off and then you'll have a Torx bit head that sits underneath it take those off and that will give you an absolute straight shot to this 1 and 1 16th bolt um, period in the story now, the EGR is actually mounted. As you see it, it has two bolts. They're supposed to be 10 millimeters. This is an oddball on this one on the opposite side. Not sure what's going on with that, but I will find out in a minute what size that actually is. Anyway, that's not, it should be a 10 millimeter. So you take those two out, take this bolt out, and you just pull that down on that and it, she will break free. Um, get some good penetrating oil. If you can get it soaking there a day before, man, that's even better. Whatever you can do, because guys, let me tell you what, all EGR connections are tough because they've been getting hot and cold, hot and cold since the car was born. So they are in there, and not to mention the rust. Now, um, if in fact you're trying to get the EGR tube out, so let's look at how the EGR tube is actually mounted. So the EGR tube, once again, you'd have to take the two the two um, the two bolts that the EGRs are mounting it with on the side as well, because that bracket has three fasteners: one here, one there, and of course one you don't see. And what's sitting here is you'll just see a 13 millimeter bolt sitting there, and then you'll see a triangle piece of metal that connects to the tube, the dipstick tube. Um, so take the 13 millimeter off, get you something underneath that tube lip, pull it up over it, and then you'll be exposed to the 13 millimeter, and it'll usually, the whole stud comes out, they almost always do. It's not supposed to, but it does. Um, and then you can take just your tube out, without removing anything else, because once you remove this, uh, the tube is just going to slide. And the reason the tubes are bad, or get bad... If you take a look right here, people are like, why is that thing leaking so much air? Well, it's just a piece of rubber. There's nothing else holding it, guys. That's it. So once that thing deteriorates, somebody pulls it out. Don't take the time to put it back in right. You know, dirt gets in the way. Whatever happens. Um, 
if you were looking at the see right here that's the hole that this other end right here goes to and it just kind of goes in there and curves and points out right here but so that's all there is to it man and uh you can use a little wd uh or i'm sorry carb cleaner whatever and you can spray around this connection if you notice a pitch in the engine um that's more than likely what it is and before i go replacing the egr valve definitely test it that's time for another video basically um this particular seal right here causes a stuck open uh, your car will think it, the computer will think that the EGR is stuck in an open position because of all the extra air. And the car will absolutely run like crap because the computer is compensating and trying to throw more and more fuel in it. And it's just going to have a really rough idle. And it's not going to have any power. You'll think, oh my god, my car's drunk. Well, it is an Explorer, but we'll leave that for another conversation. Meanwhile, guys, uh, subscribe if you haven't. I'm going to put all these little Ford um, Explorer um, videos in one little playlist. So if you want to explore, God help you. You can just kind of come and visit them. Anything I can do to help you with it will be there. All right, meanwhile, guys, thank you very much. And uh, looking for, forward to something else I got to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to do a video on this leaking ass heater control valve. Meanwhile, support the troops. We do. We love them. Get the car, man, baby. See you on the next flip. Later.